What up, YouTubers and Rachel players? Welcome back to Dennis Fleeman's YouTube channel. It's that time again. What time? Time to go thrift store hunting. Let's uh, go! Aha! It looks like this thrift store was expecting me. Cool garden gnome, guys. A fat PlayStation 2 with 16 games for 45 euros. That seems like a lot of money for a PlayStation 2 set. But when you do the math, you will figure out that it's a good deal. You'll pay 2.8 euros for each game and that's without taking the console and the controller in consideration. But I already own a lot of these games so I'll pass on this one. It's been a while since I saw some real retro games in a thrift store, but here we have them. Game Gear games. Three of them. Let's take a closer look. Land of Illusion, Road Rash and 4-in-1. This thrift store is asking 5 euro a piece for these Game Gear games. That's a bad price for the 4-in-1. You can get that cheaper online, but it's a great price for Road Rash and Land of Illusion. I'm not interested in reselling Road Rash or playing, so I'm leaving that in the store together with a 4-in-1, but I'm picking up Land of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse. It's a great game. I'm real happy and excited about this pickup. It has been a while since I picked up a real retro game in a thrift store, so let me tell you a little bit about Land of Illusion while I'm showing you guys some gameplay. Well, this is the sequel to Castle of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse, and that game was excellent but this game is even better the strange thing is that it was only released on the sega game gear and the sega master system yeah it, it's for some weird reason it wasn't released on the sega genesis and if you're a fan of ducktales for the nes and have a sega master system or game gear pick up this game you won't be disappointed in it the next thing that i wanted to show you guys is this dutch exclusive board game it's called mouse mapper it's basically a whack-a-mole clone and I completely forgot that this was a part of the show, Taylor Kids. Funny to see this, it really brought back some memories. For one reason or another, I've been seeing a lot of these steering wheels for racing games in thrift shops lately. But um, I'm not really interested in them. My son keeps nagging me about a place seat and I might give in for his birthday, but I'm passing on these right here. I'm not really into PC gaming, but I saw this big box PC game and they're asking 25 cents for it, so yeah, I picked it up. And it's called Empire Earth. I must sadly confess that I've never heard of this game. But it was made by Sierra and one of my subscribers told me in one of my older videos that if I see box games from Sierra then I should pick them up because they're worth a penny or two. So that's what I did. Did I make a good pickup or did I screw up? <laughs> Let me know in the comments guys. Here we have a bunch of PlayStation 2 games. I only picked up one PlayStation 2 game. If you want to know which game I picked up, you have to wait until the end of the video. Ha ha ha, the suspense. And here we have a bunch of random PC games. Some of these games I know because they are ported to various consoles. And others I don't know squat about. And like I said in other videos, I'm not really a PC gamer. And when I see PC games, I'm thinking like, I don't know. So maybe there's something here. Maybe there isn't. I don't know. Big box PC games. Yeah, I'm picking them up. These loose PC games. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm just leaving them in the store. It's not my uh, expertise. Wow, Morrowind. Wow, it's been a while since I played that game. 
I played it when it first came out on the original Xbox years ago. And I saw it a couple of days ago in the Intertoys, a Dutch toy store. And it was for the PlayStation 4 now. That's really mind-blowing. And it was only online for some reason. I, I don't really know. I have to check into that. Here we have Under a Killing Moon. And I really remember this game, not for the gameplay because I've never played it. But I remember that this game was on the front cover of the Dutch game magazine Power Limited years ago. So that was also funny to see uh, in the print store. I'm getting old because I'm only talking about my younger days. Here's another example. Fort Boyard. I watched this when I was a kid, around 10 years old with my dad. I didn't even know that they made a game about this TV show. Yeah, many years ago. In 1801 gaf Napoleon het start zijn voor de bouw van een vesting voor de Franse kust, Fort Boyard. In 1991 werd het fort opnieuw in gebruik genomen. Bas Westerwil en Ria Visser beleefden met hun teams de eerste avontuur in het programma De Sleutels van Fort Boyard. En nu, 20 jaar later, zijn we terug. Tien weken lang strijden zes teams van bekende Nederlanders tegen elkaar op Fort Boyard. I didn't even know that they made new episodes of Fort Boyard for Dutch television until I did some editing for this video. So you guys know what I'm going to watch the next couple of days. <laughs> Alright, let's move on. Test your might. Mortal Kombat! Yeah, this soundtrack was pretty damn awesome. The movie wasn't bad either. Okay, so here's a funny and awkward story. So I'm in this thrift store and I'm looking at the games in this class cabinet. I'm looking at Ape Academy. All those ape games are great, this is no exception. And I'm looking at And There Were None for the Wii. That's a click and point adventure game. It's not really that cool, but I'm really into click and point adventures. So I'm wanting to pick those two games up. And then there is a problem. None of the employees can find the key for this glass cabinet. And I'm like, are you guys messing with me? No, they can't find the key for the cabinet. So I can't pick these games up. And I was joking like, can I kick the glass in or can I break the glass? And like they were like, no, you can't. <laughs> so the next time when I'm visiting the thrift store again and the games are still there and they found the key, then I might pick those two games up. All right. Um, there are some comics here. Let's check out some comics. I'm, I'm into comics and but let's check it out. Oh man, that was, that was crazy. Sadly, there aren't any X-Men, Spider-Man or Superman comics here, but I picked up a Red Knight, a Rui Ritter for Bateman, so yeah, that's better than nothing. We're moving on from video games to paintings, art. Yeah, my real fans and subscribers know this. I'm also looking for fine art and thrift stores. And this time I did a remarkable find. I picked up a painting from a Dutch artist. And no, it's no Van Gogh or Rembrandt. But I'm pretty happy with this pickup. And you will see more details of it at the end of this video.
We're going out with a bang here, guys. Here's the multi mega TV game. This console has it all a steering wheel, a gun, and even a joystick. Yeah, the best of the best when it comes to Chinese knockoffs. That's it for this video guys, thanks again for watching, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and all that other goodness. If you have any suggestions you can also leave that down here below in the comments. Well, it's that time again, time to start that music and to see what I actually picked up. Here we go. Promise so untrue.